All right, I'm playing Zetsubo, COD Zombies map, and I gotta say it's boring, so I'd like to do something more interesting, which is watching the demo for Duality Map 2. That tech basey um, Doom Cute mod. It does seem as though every level has 100 monsters in it. And you can see that I genuinely am still not 100% sure, even in the demo, where everything is. There's some hit scanners in there that'll pepper you if you're not dealing with them. And I'm just noticing this now. It seems like the red skull switches almost always deactivate something. So far I've done, I believe, the first four of five maps of this set. Cool, cool to play something a little different. And that little rad suit button. I don't know. It's just cool, right? It is pretty cool. Um, I don't know how they're doing it. Maybe it's a conveyor belt. Maybe uh, it's... What is it called? Uh, an elevator with the items. Uh, something to do with a voodoo doll, of course. There are a lot of ways to do it, I believe. Now, if I remember correctly, this does have a pretty good arch file segment later on. In this set, for whatever reason, it has these really weird, I don't even want to call them cyber demons. They have the cyber demon sprite, and the behavior is, as far as I can tell, cyber demon behavior. But they don't fire rockets and you can't damage them. If you're following along for the secrets, I'm sorry, I don't remember the secrets. So you just gotta do whatever I did. But I know you're not following along for the secrets, because if you know my channel, then uh, you know how to use the editor, so whatever. A lot of long range enemies here. Just a little awkward. Right? It feels like I, I don't really have the gear to fight them yet. Almost like this arachnatron is guarding quote unquote better gear. Those barrels are cool, like they look nice, but I feel like they're a secret every time I see them, and they're never a secret. I know that's just my fault, but uh, doesn't it look like it should be a secret? And it's not. see how this plays out. We've got an arch vial, and I only have a super shotgun, and not that much space to play with. Ooh. See, it's cool, you know, watching these after the fact, because I don't remember every single moment. All right, that's pretty good. Getting the arachnidron to hit him. Definitely intentional and not just luck. Okay, that was a bad move that I did just because I thought it would be funny to see how much damage the arachnidron could do compared to, you know, me. I should have just shot him, obviously. Uh, even though I have low ammo right now, it's not a big deal. There's going to be enough. Outside of, like, the hardest maps, you have enough ammo. It's not really an issue. door. Yeah, I remember this being the hardest fight, and then I realized you could just run away. Oh, isn't that so cool? And then it fades away. The little icon for the soul sphere, and then it changes to something else. Hmm. Like, I'm not even saying, oh, how'd they do that? That's so cool. I'm just saying it's cool. 
If it would not be super difficult to implement, I know how you could do that with a voodoo doll and an elevator, and the elevator drops them down to the soul sphere. It wouldn't be that complicated. Or a conveyor belt, which would be even easier. I'm pretty sure this is a boom map set, so you have conveyors. Then, then, uh, do I know how to change texture? Yeah, that's just switches. That's normal switch behavior. So not, nothing crazy there. It's just cool, right? Cool implementation. Not everything needs to be hard to, de to design. It's still a creative idea. Actually, I think Plutonia did that too. I get those pain I said I was gonna run away before, right? I said, oh, this is the hardest fight, and then I realized I could run. And I didn't run away here. Almost like you shouldn't run from pain elementals without a BFG, because then they spawn too many enemies. It's just not realistic. Come on, please, I am begging my past self to just use the plasma. Every day I say this. Every day I'm like, please just use the plasma. You have enough ammo. It's okay. And then I use chain gun on a baron. I will say with, with maps like this, where you have a lot of a choice in where to go, I do believe you want to have a good, good finish. You want to have a way to close out the map. If there's any critique I have of these map sets, I don't always think that map sets, these maps in duality, that the ending was as flashy as it could have been. But. You know, it's kind of sad point. <sighs> I'm not even sure if it's a, a sprite change. I'm pretty sure none of the sprites are changed. Obviously, some textures are, but I think the sprites are all the same. It's just that the palette is a little bit more vibrant. In case you didn't know, enemies in Doom aren't like, or rather sprites, they're not like colored with colors, so to speak, but instead they're colored with address values from the color palette. So if you shift around the color palette, you'll change how they all look. And this one is a bit of a brighter palette. So it works with this set. I do think this set gets a little close to the realm of too much detail, not because like it's gaudy or anything, just it's hard to find secrets when any nook could be a secret. <clears throat> Considering there are only like two secrets per map or so, it wasn't that big of a deal, but uh, it, it is something to consider.
It's interesting seeing myself uh, do what I just did there. When you're shooting an enemy all along a ledge, you try to orient as parallel to the ledge as you can. Just so your shot's more likely to hit. <clears throat> just projectile things. Even with hit scan, with the auto aim being as it is. Oh, just for this last... Yeah, I don't even remember what my input is for that. But I do want to try some uh, third person, watching the demos in third person. Especially for more arena style stuff, that would be cool. Ah, uh, ah, that's so mean. That's so, I don't, I don't want to call it cheap, right? You got to pay attention. But with all the bushes, makes it hard to see. I don't know. <clears throat> Let me whine a little bit. When they're the same color. I still don't know how to open that. Like, right now, who I am right now, I don't know how that opens. I'll get it. I'll get it eventually. This is a UV Max. <clears throat> I might just let myself uh, die out here in my Zombies game that I'm playing currently. This is so boring. I could be playing Doom. Like, I'm on round 65. I feel like we're doing fine. You know, I've never had ammo issues. It's just like, I'd rather do something else. <clears throat> Alright, so we've got a lot of tox here. So I want to get as much as I can out of the time I have. Is, uh, I think it's 90 seconds. I think it's 90 seconds. Maybe it's a minute? I actually don't remember how long a tox is. So they got a lot of buttons here that probably do something. A pain elemental there that does nothing. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, I think what I'll do, I'll try to get a liquid divinium. Do something else. I got 88 kills so far. Oh my god, can I actually press that button? I think I still missed it. Get another rad suit? Quite a few rad suits. And then there's a non-secret hidden item over here. I mean, you could call it hidden. I call it hidden if I have trouble finding it, even though it's not really hidden. One of my favorite encounters of the map, that little two arachnidrons, one arch file thing. Because the arch trial means you can't just run away or revive too much stuff, he gets out of hand. But at the same time, you want to deal with the arachnidrons first. Because honestly, it's not that hard to dodge one arch trial blast. But arachnidrons shoot a lot of projectiles and tight space and are not too good. So this is one of those rare times where the arch trial is not number one. It's the arachnidrons that come first. So yeah, at this point we are just searching for that last enemy. So I'm just gonna speed up the game speed here. As I search around for him. There we go. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, <clears throat> you know, it's maps like those where they're not too tough, where I could just kind of do it, that sometimes I feel bad. Like, I don't know my way around 100% because I, I haven't had to practice it a million times. But I, I hope, you know, if you're watching, you appreciate the uh, the aesthetics of the area and maybe the way it connects. 
you know, check it out if you like tech bases. I know we all say there are too many tech bases because there are, but this is definitely a, a solid, solid pick as far as they go. Well, why am I why am I qualifying with that? They're good maps. They're good maps. Okay.